need a big perk hot take for me. What are your thoughts on this? Let me ask y'all a question. You know, if y'all was to hire a chef, and every single time you ask this chef that you tell them that I need a pot of white rice to go with whatever dish you're trying to make, and every time you go and open the lid, you take off the lid, it turned out to be grits. Okay, it can happen the first time. It can happen the second time. But after the third time, what are you going to do, Molly? What are you going to do, Jay Will? I'm probably going to fire them and get a new mm -hmm. chef. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, uh, my, my point exactly. My point exactly. My point exactly. And and why I say that is because it's time for the Warriors to part ways with Draymond Green. Mike Dunleavy, Joe Lacob, Steve Kerr, Steph Curry, they're going to have to have that tough conversation in, that, in, in the offseason because once a person shows you who they are, you have to believe them. And like we say about a lot of old people, they're stuck in their ways. Well, Draymond Green is a veteran, and he's stuck in his ways. When you look at the Jordan Poole incident, we saw what happened with that. Steph Curry and Steve Kerr, they, tried to ha they had Draymond Green's back. Okay, let's take it to this year. What he did with Nurkic, just the suspension. Steph Curry had his back. Steve Kerr had his back. Draymond Green talked about him and Steve Kerr crying, you know, sharing the moment. Okay, all of a sudden you get here on the back-to-back -back, on a night in a must-win situation with no Jonathan Kaminga and Draymond Green gets ejected. Then we watch Steph Curry, the emotions, right? Look how emotional he was. He's exhausted. The fan base of Golden State is exhausted. Steve Kerr, he's exhausted, and rightfully so. Draymond Green is not going to change, and do you want it to be to the dispense of your franchise, Mr. Golden State, the Bay Area himself and Steph Curry? Absolutely not. And it's going to be a tough conversation, a hard conversation, but it's time for the Golden State Warriors to uh, cut ties when it comes down to Draymond Green. Perk, I agree with you. I, I, wanted, I wanted to address something very quickly that happened on the show yesterday. And Steve Kerr, the back end of his comments, not sure if they were directed towards me, but I took it as it was. So yesterday, Big Perk, I was getting text messages from people whose opinions I value within the league that were starting to question Steph Curry's leadership ability and ultimately the legacy of Steph Curry. With the way things got put out there into the world, people interpreted that I was saying that it ultimately was going to affect the legacy of Steph Curry when that's not what I said. I actually dispelled that later in the show. Can, can I help out for one second sure. here? And I don't want to interrupt your monologue. So basically, Perk, Jay's not going to say it, but a clip was taken and it was out of context. They just took one section of the clip. It wasn't It wasn't his, his full statement. It wasn't mm -hmm. everything that Jay said. And it was taken out of context, essentially, and then that's where it went viral and everything went off, and that wasn't even his actual take. So we put him in a poor situation. I appreciate that, Ma. I just wanted to clarify, Big Perk. You know, no, sometimes well, in the media game, that's how it, things it happen. It happens to us as well. Agreed. Just as it does to other people. We're all big boys, so we, we, we come up on TV and we talk about it. We address the hard things, yeah. right? Speaking of addressing mm -hmm. hard things, now let's get back to this issue here. Thank you, Molly. I yeah, appreciate well, that. Yeah, well, it happens. I thought yesterday's video by Draymond Big Perk, was embarrassing. It was dismissive. His tonality was that of no contrition. I thought it was somebody who seems like he's above the organization. So to your point, I think everybody is culpable there of enabling that. And I, and I know that this is the same Draymond Green where his actions led to them winning championships. And I get that. But the reality is that his talent is no longer bigger than the problem. They're not winning championships, Big Perk. They're fighting for a 10th seed right now. And to your point, if you're Mike Dunleavy, you're looking at this situation and you're saying, okay, Draymond Green feels like he is Teflon, that he has won championships, so nobody's ego is more demonstrative in this organization than Draymond Green. But he's not going to change his ways. And imagine being a player in that locker room, Perk, you imagine Draymond coming in the locker room, but guys, that's my fault. It, it, that's going in my right ear. That's going out the left. There's nothing you can say, Draymond, that's going to make me think that you actually mean it. 
Like we, you got suspended indefinitely, Big Perk. Indefinitely. When has that ever happened in the history of the league? Indefinitely. Even understanding the relationship with Joe Dumars and Draymond, which gives even more complexity to the issue. Because Joe loves him like a son. Mm -hmm. they, suspended, they suspended him indefinitely. So now you want to say, you know, this is the exception, not the rule. No, this is the rule for you, Dre. This is who you've always been. So the talent is no longer bigger than the problem. And Dre is the problem. So I agree with you, man. It's time for them to part ways when the season's over. You're obviously going to fight for a play-in tournament. But Steph Curry, 30, deserves way more than what Dre has given him. It's only right that Joe Lacob and Mike Dunleavy do their job this offseason and surround him with the necessary pieces so they could get back to competing and also make sure that they uh, take him, take it, take him mindset that they need to protect his peace. You need to protect his peace because what Steph Curry has meant not only to that organization but the NBA, he doesn't deserve this. And to, your, to some of the people who was texting you, Jay, you need to block them right now. Block them. They don't need to text you no more, okay? They don't need to text you no more. That's the second thing. But back to Draymond. It's to the point now where you take a whiteboard and you look at the pros and you look at, look at the cons. The cons are outweighing the pros, and that is the deciding factor. And that should be the deciding factor when it comes to the Golden State Warriors this offseason. And we're going to talk about this perk coming up, but it, it does lead to a very interesting scenario with the Golden State Warriors, with the way that Andrew Wiggins has played, with Clay looking for a new contract, what, can you, what value can you get in return for Draymond Green? Does Steph Curry want to be part of a rebuilding organization, if that's the direction that the Golden State Warriors go? It just poses a really interesting question, man. Perk, th this one, this one's tough. I, I come from a little bit more of an old school mentality on this. I know this may not be like a Gen Z thing. Um, you know, I, I think both Steve Kerr and Steph need to change their tone when it comes to talking about Draymond. The, 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 tone, all, it, the tone sounds exhausted, which it is. I understand that. But I want to see Steve Kerr visibly angry about it. Like, I know Steph under, is angry internally, but it feels as if Dre, and I said this before, Perk, feels that he's Teflon, that even in his apology, it was a very laid-back, <laughs> passive, dismissive type of apology. And it almost feels as if you're waiting for Steve Kerr and Steph to publicly say, yo, that's not okay. I'm tired of it. We're all tired of it. There are other issues that we need to address. But even hearing him say for unforgivable, it didn't feel like that carried that type of energy, Perk. You and I are boys, man. Mm -hmm. You would hold me accountable, Perk. You would say tough things to me. Like, I've had players that would say tough things to me. Coach K would say tough things to me. Now, this is by no means questioning the coaching ability of Steve Kerr at all. But it does feel like it's this, well, you know, it is what it is type of mentality, and I'm checked out, and I, I, we understand that. But it, it just doesn't feel like the tone for both Steve and Steph is where it needs to be with the weight this situation carries considering the history of how this has occurred. Just me, Perk, on how I feel about it. Maybe it's my personality that I feel like I would have maybe matched that energy publicly. Um, but it, it does feel like the tone needs to change because this is a similar tone we've been having for a while now, and it's not showing any effects. You know, you know why? You know why? Because they won four championships together. They built the family. dynasty, okay? And yeah. what ended up, end up happening is this, Jay, is that emotions come involved, okay? And it's, they have real love for Draymond Green, and that's okay. But the problem is, is that this is a business, okay? And you got to do what's best for the organization. And so now it's time for tough love. So we watch, you know, Jerry Cross, God rest his soul, take a lot of heat for ending the dynasty with the Chicago Bulls, right? But it was the right business decision for the Chicago Bulls. At some point, they have to make the, the business decision. 
Tough love has to come in place, and it has to happen this offseason. And I know it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. It is, because this is their brother, right? This is the guy that they've been in the trenches with. We all get that. But at some point, they have to realize, if they, don't, if they haven't already realized, that, it has, that this has ran this course. And again, I'm going to repeat, it is time for them to part ways with Draymond Green after this season is over with because he's not going to change. And, Perk, this is where the conversation goes now. It goes to, I think we all have envisioned a world in which we don't see 30 wear any other uniform for his career, similar to Kobe. Facts. I, I'm still in that boat. But it's a really big decision for Steph. Because is he going to trust management to build a new franchise around him? And can they do that? What do you do with Andrew Wiggins? What do you do with Klay Thompson? And, and Bob Myers left at the right time. That's number one. Number two, can anybody find LeBron James and Rich Paul? Because last time I checked, those two guys are the guys that Draymond Green look up to. Are they going to play a part in this? Are they going to be a are they going to be real big brothers and actually pull Draymond to the side and tell him he's tripping right now? Tell him what he need to hear, and not what he want to hear, because we all know how Draymond looks up to Braun. So if a guy's looking up to you and he consider you as a big brother, and Rich Paul, you you representing him as his agent because Draymond is under clutch. Are y'all going to step in and help save this man's career and tell him to chill out? Because the narrative or the, the picture that he's painting right now, I don't know if any gen general manager around the league would actually trade for Draymond at this point, if I'm just keeping it real with you. And it's not because they don't think that they could help, that he could help his team win, but it goes back to what your earlier point, what you said earlier in the show, like is with Draymond packaging, everything that he is bringing, all the extra baggage, does it actually outweigh his, what he's how he's producing on the floor? And the answer is no.